Ah yes, the bee, a wonderful creature that has roamed these blocky lands for almost a year at the time of recording this. It is truly a fascinating creature which was included to spread awareness of the fact that bees are going extinct in the real world. These creatures are truly fascinating and are often overlooked. That is why I have rededicated my life from researching soup to researching bees, going into great lengths into acquiring this information. Like the previous documentaries, this one is split up into several sections. Characteristics, advancements, trivia and history. Now let us embark on this journey known as the Documentary of the Bee. Bees do not spawn naturally, but however spawn from nests. These nests generate with three bees in them, which show us that bees are some thick boys. The nests only spawn on oak and birch trees, however the chance of them spawning is quite low, with them being 5% in the plains, 2% in a flower forest, and 0.2% in any other biome that can have oak or birch trees spawning in them. They also have a 5% chance of growing on trees grown by saplings. If, and only if, there is a flower within two blocks of that tree. When these beasts are killed, adult bees drop one to three orbs of EXP, whilst babies do not drop anything. Upon breeding, they drop one to seven orbs of XP. Bees do not fly, but instead hover a few blocks above the ground in a similar manner to which bats do. They are considered arthropods, and therefore bane of arthropods deal more damage so you can go into battle and kill those bees quicker with bane of arthropods 3. The most useful enchantment has been made more useful. Bees take damage when touching water, which therefore means you can drown bees even easier. Bees can be attached to leads even when angered, However, this does not stop them from attacking you, so when you have an angered bee attached to a lead, make sure not to get hit by it. Bees leave their nest one by one during the day. They fly around their nests and are attracted by flowers and sweet berry bushes. After circling a flower or berry bush for about 30 seconds, a bee collects the pollen. Bees that have pollen pollinate crops they fly over. When one of these crops have been pollinated, it advances to the next growth stage, in a similar way to what bone meal does. Afterwards, the bees fly back into the hives and make some honey. Bees live together in colonies. Homeless bees wander around searching for empty beehives, and take any beehive that has enough space as its home. Bees return to their nests when it rains and when it is night. They stay in their nests for at least two minutes before coming out, which therefore means if you go to bed and make it day instantly, the bees won't instantly come out, because they're still sleepy. Unlike you, bees do not lose their health or name when inside the beehive. So when they come out, they do not lose any name tabs or HP, or gain any HP for that matter. Breaking nests release a lot of angry bees that want to attack and defend their home. However, when you break the nest with silk touch, the bees inside are trapped in there and they exit when it is placed down. All bees nearby are angered when an individual is attacked or when their beehive is destroyed. Bees attack and swarm the player as a group when angered and their eyes turn red. If a player deflects a bee's attack with a shield, the bee will continue to attack them until they successfully hit the player. When succeeding, the player is poisoned, however, the bee loses the ability to attack as its stinger is lost, and after one minute, it dies. Bees also swarm other mobs that accidentally hit them, so mainly skeletons. Bees follow players holding a flower. Now, like the pig, sheep, and the cows, bees 
of violent sex. If a bee is given a flower, they enter love mode and pair up and frick to create a baby. They however have a cooldown on fricking, which lasts 5 minutes. Baby bees take 20 minutes to turn into adults, but this process can be accelerated using flowers, which therefore means if you force feed a baby flowers, you can make them grow up quicker so that they can finally feel the experience of sex. Now for the advancement. First advancement is Be Our Guest. Wow, what a cringy name, honestly. Mojang is so funny. Be Our Guest is where you use a campfire to collect honey from a beehive using a bottle without aggravating any bees. The next one is the parrot and the bats. This is where you breed two animals together, which coincidentally can be two bees, which therefore means this achievement is relevant to bees. After this one, you can do Bee Location. Another funny name by Mojo. This achievement is where you move a bee nest with three bees inside it using Silk Touch. The next achievement is 2x2, two two, which is where you breed every animal. There is also another achievement known as Sticky Situation, which is where you slide down honey blocks to slow your fall. Now, for some trivia, bees are the first flying arthropods in the game. Bees are the only arthropod that exists in Peaceful. They are also the only arthropod that when killed, do not give the player the Monster Hunter achievement. Bees were made to be half a block in size because Mojang, the amazing company Mojang, considered the size to be the cutest. And finally, for the final trivia fact of the day, Bees pollinate the top half of the sunflower. Now for the history as of Saturday the 2nd of May 2020. In 1.15, bees were added. They were also made to avoid water. In 1.15, bee nests were added to naturally spawn and also bees were added to go with the bee nests. Bees were made to avoid water, and from the very beginning, bees were made to be affected by bane of arthropods. In 1.15.2, bees no longer anger when a nearby nest is destroyed. They were also made that crops can be pollinated, as well as the fact that bees could no longer stay in boats and minecarts forever. Sadly, we are nearing the end of our adventure. We have learnt loads of facts about the bees and we have realised how pog they are. It is honestly a shame that we're, they were added this late to the game as they are such a useful creature, giving us so much content. It sometimes bewilders me how I could have played Minecraft without having bees inside the game. You know, Aristotle once said, without bees, we are not human. Without bees, we do not live. Without bees, we do not laugh. So what is the point of life if bees never existed? Another famous philosopher known as Socrates said, according to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are way too small to get its fat little body off the ground. However, the bees of course fly, because bees don't care what the humans think. Socrates is right. Bees have a mind of their own and should be respected. Anyway, that is it for the bee documentary. On with the credits.